love to paint. Lately, I've been doing a lot of family farms from the rural area around where I live. I'll show you. I always start with the background, which is usually the sky, and work forward. I use acrylic paints. I much prefer them. Ah, there you can see the final finished painting and compare it with what I'm doing here. I strive for the kind of painting that makes you feel like you're there. I have met the nicest families doing this project. That's probably the best part of this. Here you can see I'm mixing, kind of mixing the snow color as I go, working around that farm dog. Acrylics are great in my mind because they can be thinned and cleaned with water. Pretty simple, and no fumes, and they dry nice and fast. Most all of my farm paintings are featured in my Lang on the farm calendar, which I'm really proud of. And you can learn more about that on my website, RaleighBrandt.com. This video is just going to show you a number of my paintings and how I create them. I love lighting and detail. Farm paintings are either done this size, which is 11 by 14, or 16 by 20. That shape works well for the calendar. You can see again, I start with the background and move forward. I try to protect my blue sky so I don't spatter, because a clear blue sky is actually a bigger challenge than a cloudy sky. Alfred the Rooster. He lives on the Wagner farm where I get my farm fresh eggs, about a mile from where I live. I love to paint chickens. Ah, horses. I grew up with horses and I've been drawing them since I was eight years old and I love any excuse to paint a horse. This is a quarter horse ranch, about 10 miles from me. Horse is one animal that I can paint blindfolded. I like their ranch style barn. what caught my eye. And this has quite a story. This farm is located in the middle of a busy office park surrounded by office buildings in a very bustling suburb of the Twin Cities. And Ed is still there. He sells eggs, wears bib overalls, and burns wood in his kitchen for heat. He's right next to a freeway. I just love his silo.
Boyd's Place too. That is also located in the same suburb and that beautiful big barn is going to be torn down to widen a road, which is very sad. I guess this is my way to preserve these beautiful barns. Floyd was pretty happy with this painting, and I really enjoyed doing it and adding that sunrise. cute little barn is in Northfield and I like to do something for the Christmas month. Oh good, another horse. This is my friend Cynthia's 27 year old horse Laird. And she was pretty happy that I painted her ranch. Every time I went by this canary yellow barn, I wanted to paint it. And finally I did, and I think it'll make a great springtime piece in my calendar.